Hey guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be working on something new. It's actually going to be a tutorial and yes I'm aware that in the past few videos I've been in one ear, now I'm in two. Uh, major improvement, thanks for the comments. Don't know why it took so long to notice or why that happened but I figured it out. Sony Vegas, sorry about that. Anyways, today is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install LED lights the proper way. If you've seen on Amazon, one of the top selling products is these LED strips. Uh, they're RGB, come with a controller. It's a really cool accessory for your house. Uh, I actually started using them and I'm pretty satisfied. There's a few quirks to them, but uh, overall it's super cheap and I highly recommend uh, getting one and basically making your house look really cool. So let's get to it. So what you see on the screen now is what you're going to get from Amazon or wherever you order it at. Uh, it includes a remote control, a power source, uh, which I'll mention more about later, and a receiver for the signal from your remote control. Uh, one problem I did run into is uh, receivers overlapping with each other so if you're gonna buy more than one 16 foot strip I would uh, actually get the same exact model because you're gonna run into problems with your receiver overlapping with another receiver and uh, basically one color will change and another won't or one color will, will turn on correctly and the other receiver will pick up that same signal and turn on you know pink or something so you're basically if you know you're going to be using these a lot, I would get a few strips right off the bat unless you're going to be using these in completely different rooms, then it's a pretty good idea to test around. Okay, so step one is to get yourself some real double-sided mounting tape. The adhesive that comes with all of these strips, or at least the 10 or whatever I've tested, just sucks you paid 20 bucks you can't really expect much but they will not stay on on any material I've tried I'm not really sure uh, so you want to get some real tape for this project the next thing I did was put the tape on the receiver and made sure to attach it outside of the bed frame and uh, in a fairly open area that way the signal can reach it if you put it behind your bed somewhere in the middle uh, where no, nothing is sticking out, it'll be really hard for you to use the remote and the remote will basically become useless. Next you want to do the same thing with the power supply and I did that but it crapped out on me three days later so actually if you're using this as a long-term solution I would actually recommend getting a universal laptop charger off of Amazon and they have a lot more longevity than all of these Chinese uh, power supplies this next part is super simple. All you have to do is apply this mounting tape to the existing light strip um, and make sure to take off the previous tape that was on there um, and basically attach it to the bed frame where it's cleverly hidden. I have like a $300 bed frame and it worked perfectly. As long as there is a crevice or something to attach it onto, uh, you should be perfectly fine. Uh, this mounting tape sticks to basically everything, wood, uh, metal, plastic, you, it's all covered. So you should have zero problem doing that and do that all around the bed. You only need to apply the tape every few feet. And that's it. Uh, now you have uh, some futuristic looking lighting in your room. Uh, you can also do this uh, behind your TV as I have done. It's a great night light, especially right behind the TV, and you can adjust the brightness with these remote controls, so it makes it really simple. It's great mood lighting for the ladies, um, and overall just a great product and a cheap way to make your room look a lot more luxurious and expensive. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you want to talk shit in the comments, you're more than welcome to. I will probably respond to you in a very nice way. Um, if anything, you can like the video, subscribe, uh, visit the new site. It's being built out right now, but uh, it should be, it's a work in progress, whatever. Um, and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you guys later.